Hello to all the Geek Enthusiasts and Nerd Aficionados, Mess5150 here with another unboxing video for you. Um, this unboxing is going to be your Loot Crate DX for June. Colossal was the theme. Here it is. Yay! So, um, yeah, so Loot Crate DX, the only box that I will always get. Although I did sign up for the Deadpool box for the entire year, so I'm super excited when that gets ready to come out. But uh, this box, I just love the stuff that comes inside of it. And every single box always has stuff that's usable and worth having versus Loot Crate, standard box, it's got to be a theme that I really like or, or something like that. So um, this was the DX. This is for June 2018. This is Colossal is the theme. I will leave links below. Pricing details are and stuff. It's always best to buy them in a year bulk if you can, especially right now. I believe they're doing a July uh, 4th sale where you're saving 40% off with Freedom 2018 is the um, the code to use. So you should definitely go check that out if you want to get any of these boxes. It helps out a lot. That's how I was able to get the DX this time around back in Memorial Day. I think they were doing a 60% off sale. So I utilized that to upgrade to the full year. It helped a lot. It took a ton of money off of it. So next year I'll be looking to do the same thing. Hopefully since I got it during Memorial Day, they'll have around the same same pricing going on with it. But let's get into the box. So when you open the box, this is what you're going to see. Okay. So we've got a shirt. And usually they're long sleeve shirts with, uh, yep. So once again, long sleeve shirt. Here's your shirt. Oh, that's awesome. I can see it in the reflection. <laughs> so it's a Stay Puffed. It's a it's a Ghostbusters shirt. It says Stay Puffed uh, Gozer. I love that the Nabisco up in the top says Gozer on it. I ain't afraid of no roast. Oh, there's a dad joke for you right there. 84 pieces. What else does it say? Packed with ectoplasmic happy thoughts <laughs> and colossal taste. That is an awesome shirt. Unfortunately, it is extremely hot where I live right now for summer. So this shirt will not be able to be worn for a bit of time. Maybe when I'm at San Diego Comic-Con, camped out in line and Hall H, sleeping in line, this shirt will get worn then because uh, it gets a little bit chillier when you're right next to the Bayfront. Um next things that we got inside here so we got two looks like gundam figures and then they have pictures of what items you can get in here i don't know if i'm going to open these right for right now i'm going to keep them closed because i'd like to do giveaways for you guys at some point so i'll hold on to these like this maybe they'll get part of a giveaway for you later um, next thing that we got we got our pin so it's a Jurassic Park pin it's a Raptor let me pull this out because that usually gets you a little bit better to see there we go all right so it's a Raptor it's not blue although they could have probably painted blue around it I mean blue from uh, Lost World and uh, or from Jurassic, not Lost World, sorry. From Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and the uh, the original Jurassic World, which this is a Jurassic World pin, so you would think it would be, you put a little bit of blue around his eyes and down the neck, and that would be kind of cool. Um, I went and saw Jurassic World. I wasn't super impressed with it. I love that franchise, but I uh, thought there was a... It was a big mess. There was a lot of stuff that could have gone better. If you guys saw Jurassic World, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you thought that the movie was really good, why you liked it, or if you thought there were some issues. I mean, I, I felt like they were pushing characters on us to tell us that we need to like these characters for the new guy, the new people, the new characters that were in the show, in the movie, um, which I didn't have any connection. I didn't care about them. There was no reason for me to, uh, to care about them. And I felt that they were on the island too small of a time uh, i think if they would have put more of off the island the last like, like 30 minutes of the movie would have been a much better movie along with that my biggest gripe the trailer gives away everything um so mad about that so mad so 
Um, if you didn't watch the trailer, good on you, because then you can go into the movie with a bit of a surprise. Uh, of course, there is the one thing that it didn't give away if you didn't watch the if you haven't watched the movie yet i don't want to give any spoilers but yeah um for those that did watch the big spoiler character thing that's the best i can do without giving you, you should know what i'm talking about um yeah <laughs> so going along with that we have another jurassic park item this is kind of cool though because it's in an in-gen crate do not open and let's see what we got in here oh, okay so one of the things I, I subscribe to from Loot Crate is socks I love socks and that's what we got here we've got a pair of a dino socks T-Rex socks it looks like oh, oh yep definitely T-Rex socks because on the bottom you have the itty bitty arms <laughs> so Dinosaur, T-Rex, uh, let's see what's on the sides. You've got JP-10 on one side. And then on the other side, you have the Jurassic Park logo. So those are, and they're nice. Thank you for giving me stretchy socks. I have big feet, and the Loot Crate socks that have been coming recently have been very tight and very hard to put on to my big hobbit-sized feet, as my friends say. Um, yeah, so next item, we got a poster. It looks like Let's pull this out. Oh, this is cool. So it's an infinity poster infinite since 1973. It's got Galactus on it with the infinity gauntlet on his throne. That's awesome. This is number 5878 out of 12,000. Gray, gray Matter Art. So graymatterart.com is the website to look up to see if they have other prints like this. If you like this, uh, this print. I am somebody that does like posters and prints. As you can see behind me, there's my alien print. One of my Boba Fett drawings that uh, I bought at a Comic-Con. And the um, Battle of Luke and Vader from Empire Strikes Back that I also purchased from one of the uh, print stores at uh, that one was at WonderCon, but i have a lot more different prints sometimes at some point maybe i'll get a video of all the different collectibles i have and the prints i have if you guys would like to see that as always drop a comment below let me know if you'd like to see the stuff that i actually have kind of spread around the house um and last thing that looks like yeah that we got in here is a book it is kong on the planet of the apes see that there's a trade paperback from boom studios and this is cool because you have the whole story versus like when we got the preacher book it was really cool because i have the entire preacher series and it was a hardcover book but it was just the first trade paperback and you had to go out and get the rest i believe this is the entire story because i think it was a mini series for this comic i haven't read it so i wouldn't know if you guys know yeah well it says the end on the last page so yeah, so this is the entire story. That's always, always cool to get because now it's not forcing me to have to go try and buy other things. Not that I'm opposed to that, but uh, I don't want to get enthralled into something and find out that uh, I need to continue purchasing to get into it. So um, last thing we have is our booklet that comes inside. So Loot Crate DX 618. So it's your, your June box. You've got your Loot Crate exclusive Jurassic Park socks. Stomp around your house in style in these colossal T-Rex socks packaged in a paper dino crate for easy prehistoric transport. Licensed from Universal, made by Loot Crate. You've got the Kong on the Planet of the Apes trade paperback. It's a Loot Crate edition, so I think it's just the, the, um, the cover that's on it. Kong on the Planet of the Apes trade paperback. When two epic apes worlds collide, the results are bound to be colossal. Get your paws on this crossover collection before its official fall release, featuring all six issues and an exclusive Loot Crate cover. Yeah, so it's the cover. Then you've got your long sleeve shirt with Stay Puffed, Loot Crate exclusive. Ghostbusters Stay Puffed long sleeve t-shirt. Want a little s'more? Stay Puffed in your life. Stay warm and toast in this colossal long sleeve tee featuring Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man artwork by Crystal Fontaine. Fontaine. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. She's also known as Boombada. Boom Bambuda. Sorry. <laughs> who popularized the parody serial tea, which is, that's what it looks like it's supposed to be. Um, licensed from Universal, made by Loot Crate. 
your Gundam figures. What's more plausible than a giant fighting robot? How about two giant, fi giant fighting robots? Supersize your mech collection with these ready-to-assemble Gundam figures from the Gundam Universal Unit 2 assortment. Licensed from Bandai, made by Bluefin for Bandai Shok Shogun. So, not a Loot Crate exclusive on these guys, but cool nonetheless. Um, you got your Loot Crate exclusive pin, the Jurassic Park. Jurassic World Raptor pin with a name meaning Swift Thief. The Velociraptor is known for its clever, carnivorous ways. Join your own personal raptor squad with this 3D molded raptor pin from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Licensed from Universal, made by Loot Crate. And lastly, your Loot Crate original Thanos art print. Get a grip on the galaxy with this numbered limited edition Thanos art print by Dave Perillo. So Dave Perillo is who you're looking for if you like that artwork style. Who also illustrated our Black Panther print in February's crate, which was an awesome looking print as well. So, licensed from Marvel, made by Grey Matter Art. You, like I said, it was your Colossal DX. Was your theme on this guy... Sorry, my computer, my camera does not want to focus today. Um, and then you have the stuff they're giving away. And then lastly, always awesome. Always look in the box, see if there's artwork or see if there's something special in there. What we have inside this box is at the bottom, Clever Girl, Jurassic Park reference. Um, yeah, so that's what's inside your Loot Crate DX for June 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have one last thing to show because this was a mail haul. I got this on the exact same day as I got this box, and I'm a big Funko guy, so um, I've been wanting this pop for a while. Loving comic books, love Neil Gaiman, and the previous exclusive has been available on Entertainment Earth for the death pop. So there she is. God, I love this pop. This pop is so cool looking. Um, let me pull her out. The nice thing is, preview, the Entertainment Earth didn't completely destroy my box, so it looks good. All right. So here is, oh my God, this looks so awesome. There she is, in all her glory, Sandman's death. And the backside of her. So, God, this pop is cool. So yeah, I just happened to get this the same day that I got my loot crate, so it was kind of a cool two for one type of, uh, type of day. So, um, yeah. So that is it for this video. As always, if you guys like this, video make sure to hit that like button the little thumbs up that's down there at the bottom if uh you want to see more of these videos always hit that subscribe button and along with the subscribe button hit that little bell because that gives you notifications letting you know when i have more videos coming out and drop me a comment letting me know um if there's items that you liked inside the box stuff that uh that you didn't like as I, i'd love to know your thoughts on on the uh, jurassic world fallen kingdom please please tell me what you guys thought if you thought it was a great film or if you thought that it was lacking um but with that, I'm out of here. I will see you guys soon, and you keep nerding on.